Oh look, more stuff from Wish. Here it is, the Wish side folding AR stock adapter. It finally came in after three weeks, $34 and $8 in shipping, it finally came in. If you don't want to watch the whole video, well, here's the end. Don't fucking buy it. It's useless. It's garbage. So came in a little box in a package. Let's open it up. Don't worry. Everything in here came in its own little bags. I took it out because I've already played with it. Right away. Right away, you got the adapter. It feels pretty beefy in the hands. It makes a solid snap when you open it. makes a solid snap when you close it. It's made out of cheap painted aluminum. It says so right on the side, it says Law Tactical right there. It's obviously a knockoff. Um, but I opened it up and I was actually very impressed. This is used to hold it into the back of your receiver. This is your bolt extender. Comes with an extra I don't know what that's called, the, the buffer tube retaining springy mabobber, whatever the fuck that's called. Um, and then I don't know what this crap is, but it came with it. I assume it's for, uh, for some airsoft stuff. So we don't really care about that. A lot of people that I've read online um, who have purchased this talk about that they need to file this down in order to fit the nut through the back. The way it works, is you would take and line it up. This slides in, threads in the back of your receiver, and that's what actually holds in place. Now, you don't need to file this down, this bolt catch. All you need to do is remove that Allen key, and this whole button assembly will come out. There's two metal pieces and a spring. But that's not the, uh, but that's not the end of the issues. As you know, your rear takedown pin has a detent and it has a spring. When this sits on the back, there's a little gap right there and it doesn't cover where that spring comes out. It will never cover that. I try to take and maybe use, um, use my end plate to stick it on there first, but this piece is too big and too deep for that piece. It won't ever sit on there flush. It'll always have a little gap down there. That's the first issue. The second issue is your bolt extension is too big to fit in your bolt. It's got these little O-rings that you remove um, and you can grind this down, but it doesn't really work. The third thing that finally makes this crap is once you get it all assembled, once you get your stock on here, once you get the detent in there, once you get it all set up, it feels pretty nice. It adds a little bit of length to the rifle, but nothing out of the ordinary. I wouldn't want to put it on a full 20 inch 8R, but I'd have no problem putting it on a 16 or an SBR or AR pistol or anything like that. The issue you have is when you open it, because it resets in the up position, you can see the spring brings it up and there's these little grooves down here because the weight of the stock is pushing down on it. It makes this really flimsy. So when it's on, when it's straight, it's perfectly fine. But once you bring it to the folded position, because gravity is pulling down on it, it just blowing on it would be enough to swing it closed. Um, I would recommend not buying this, but you know what? I don't have to worry about that because it's got pulled from Wish. I don't know why it was pulled from Wish. I don't know um, if the merchant's still there. Uh, I'm gonna try and get a refund because under the, uh, under the counterfeit policy, mostly because th this is just crap. Even if it, even if it, you know, even if I didn't mind that it was counterfeit, oh look, that doesn't, that's not swivel, that comes straight off. So that's pretty interesting. Didn't know that. Oh, you know what? I bet, where'd that other crap go? Nope, I don't fucking know what goes in there. Never mind. 
that swivel comes off, be prepared about that. Um, either way, this is the Wish side folder adapter. Don't buy.